Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel Electric, your go-to place for electrical concepts made easy. Ever notice that transformer ratings are always in kVA while motors are rated in kilowatt? Why the difference? This is a super popular interview question and today we are going to break it down in the simplest way possible. Let's dive right in. First we have to understand the units kVA and kW. kVA stands for kilovolt ampere. It's the unit of apparent power. KW stands for kilowatt. That's the real power consumed or delivered. In simple terms, kilowatt is the power that actually does the work, like turning a motor or lighting a bulb. KVA includes both real power and the power wasted due to inefficiencies like heat. We call that reactive power. Okay, so a transformer's job is to transfer electrical energy from one circuit to another without knowing how the power will be used. It doesn't care if the load is resistive, inductive or capacitive. Because a transformer doesn't consume power, it only carries it. Its rating depends on voltage and current, not power factor. That's why we use kVA, not kilowatt. Motors on the other hand actually consume power to do work like running a fan, pump or machine. This power is measured in kilowatt because it directly relates to the mechanical work being done. Power factor matters here. The motor draws current and generates torque and losses like heat and friction affect actual power used. Now if this question is being asked, here's how you can answer it in interviews. Transformers are rated in kVA because they handle apparent power without considering power factor. Motors are rated in kilowatt because they consume real power to do mechanical work and efficiency and power factor are relevant. So next time someone asks you, you will know exactly why we rate transformers in kVA and motors in kilowatt. It's all about what the device does with the power, transfer it or use it. If you found this helpful, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe for more bite-sized engineering lessons and hit the bell icon so you never miss out on more smart and simplified explanations. Got more questions or want us to cover a specific interview topic? Drop it in the comments below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.